Maud Kaelin, sometimes called the Maud, is an ancient stronghold of the first men on the northern edge of the Great Swamp, known as the Neck, in the south of the north. It is less than 20 miles from the headwaters of the Fever River. Maud Kaelin is an effective natural choke point, which has protected the north from southern invasion for thousands of years. The Kranagmen of the Neck know unmapped routes through the swamps, such as narrow trails between the bogs and wet roads through the reeds that only boats can follow. Maud Kaelin was once a great stronghold, with 20 towers, a wooden keep and a great basalt curtain wall as high as that of Winterfell's. Today only great blocks of black basalt lay scattered about, half sunk in the ground where the wall once stood and the keep rotted away. The remaining three towers, which are covered with green moss and white coast skin, command the causeway from all sides so that enemies must pass between them. Attackers face constant fire from the other towers should they attempt to attack any tower, wading through chest-deep water and crossing a moat full of lizard lions. The children's tower is tall and slender, it has only half of the crenellations of its crown. Legend has it that the green seers of the children of the forest called upon their gods here to send the hammer of the waters to smash the neck, separating the north from the south in the same manner they shattered the arm of Dorne. The children failed and only succeeded in flooding it, however creating bugs and swamps. Some scholars discount the legend instead attributing the watery landscape to natural events. The gatehouse tower, the largest of the remaining towers, is quad and wide. It is the only tower which still stands straight, even retaining some of the walls around it, although a tree grows through its northern side. The tower's hall of dark stone is spotted with lichen and has a high, drafty ceiling. Within the hall is a massive carved table also of stone. The Drunkard's Tower is so named due to its great lean. It stands where the south and west walls once met. The Marsh Kings and their Kranach men held Mold Caelan, sometimes with the assistance of the Barrow Kings, Red Kings and the Kings of Winter against all attacks from the south. The swampy terrain was enough to prevent Mold Caelan from falling in the Andal invasion. It was a key defense of the north against which the Andal armies threw themselves time after time with no success. The kings of winter from House Stark eventually defeated the Marsh kings, adding Mold Kaelin to the realm of Winterfell. The three remaining towers are more than capable of defending the passage to the south, however, provided that they are fully manned. Mold Kaelin has never been taken from the south, although it is vulnerable from the north and the east. During Aegon's conquest, some northern lords urged King Torrin Stark to resist House Targaryen at Mold Kaelin. Rather than fight the Targaryen dragons, Torrin instead submitted to Aegon I Targaryen at the Trident, becoming the king who knelt. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Also, subscribe to my channel to be notified when a new lore video is released. Thank you again and see you soon.